Well, hello there, Retro PC Durham. It's Chris here with another Lenovo Think Center. Uh, so this one, I guess, is a little bit different. This is a uh, machine type 7522, and this is a Think Center A58. Now, I think, with the exception of maybe like one other machine, every other Think Center that I've reviewed over the past whatever weeks or months it's been, there's been so many of them have all been M series. Uh, we had M57, we've had some N58s, some M58Es, an M81, an M90P. I did have an A70, and then we have this A58. Now, it's still a small form factor, and from everything I can tell from the guts, looks exactly the same as the M series models inside. The only difference would be on the outside here is a slightly different bezeling with these these fins being different, we've got an actual door on the front end instead of the media drive, the multimedia uh, multi burner being wide open. But we still have the same port counts. The power button is a little bit more, uh, I don't know, less tactile. It's more of a, uh, a may feel like a laptop power button than, a, than an actual computer like click in uh, depression power button. Uh, so, you know, maybe that was a difference that. A laptop feel power button instead i don't know i don't know let's take the top down look and show you that it looks exactly the same on the inside all right here we go i mean it, it really is you've seen one you've seen them all uh same idea but click button here you flip up the lid and top down view same hinge to rem remove our multimedia drive out of the way then we click here and we remove our hard disk drive and the view from the top down on the system board looks exactly the same. DDR2 slots, hard drive chipset, all the port areas and plugins on the system board are all exactly the same as on the M58 system board. We've got the same port uh, PCIe and PCI slot selections, the same two SATA ports. Ports on the rear of the system are the same as well. So, I again, uh, apart from changing the front of the case i'm not exactly sure what is supposed to be different on this in fact i'm pretty sure the processor that's in this uh we've already looked at on uh one of the m58es is a uh an e6300 so let's switch over to the monitor view we'll power this sucker on and take a look okay here we go powering on sounds okay we'll get itself booted up here What a lovely sounding hard drive. We are now loaded into Windows and we'll open up the Task Manager. We will check out the Specarinos on this guy. Okay, so we do have something different here. This is good, good that we actually see a difference here. Maybe this is what differentiated the A series from the M series in the first place, was having Celeron processors instead of Pentium processors, because we have a Celeron E3200 here. It is a dual core processor, but you know, it's gonna be lower end on the cache capability, etc. 2.4 gigahertz and two cores is 
fine for basic Windows use. So we're okay there, but obviously it's not going to be as good as the higher end processors in the product line. So maybe that's the mystery solved. The difference is the A series use Celeron processors, the M series were the ones that use Pentium or Core Duo, etc. processors, and then maybe the A series disappeared or something over time as they switched over to Core I based systems only. I, who knows? Who knows? We'll find out the next time I get a big donation, maybe. All right, 4 gig of RAM. Again, this is DDR2 SD RAM. It's only showing in as SD RAM here. That's a, some kind of Windows issue with these older machines. And then we have 120 gig Mac store drive. Um, that Mac store explains why the loud hard drive noises were coming. That's a staple of Mac store drives. That they like to be noisy to let you know that they're alive. And uh, yeah, that's the system all set and ready to go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this machine here, this Lenovo Think Center 7522 model A58 small form factor system. As always, I hope that you are staying safe and healthy in these strange times, and we will catch you in the next one.